Yo, what's up guys? So in this tutorial, I'll be explaining how you can make 5M clothing because I'm getting like a lot of people asking me like how do you make clothing, this and that. So what you'll need is OpenIV. I'll leave a link to that. But you also need Photoshop. If you do not have Adobe Photoshop, then you cannot do this. So make sure you have that too. So let's get straight into it. So first, you want to open OpenIV. Then you want to click right here, which is Grand Theft Auto V, Windows. Make sure they have to get, so you have to have Grand Theft Auto 5 installed or GTA 5, whatever you want to call it. So you have to browse where it is. So for example, for me, I'm pretty sure that it is right here. So I'll select this folder. Nope, it is not in here. So and it's probably in this one. now you want to click continue and you should be prompted to this so you just wait all right so once it opens up first you want to press this button over here which says edit mode and it should pop up with this you click yes and then you press this button here and it's gonna show these three. You wanna make sure you click install on in the middle one. Yes. All right, so once it's installed, you close this and you should have a folder named mods right here. So you open that. First, you wanna make sure you make a folder on your desktop, name it, for example, I'll show you how to make a mask. So name it mask. Then next, what you wanna do is you wanna drag this in here. So leave it like that. Then here you wanna search up so first you have to go on a website I'm going to show the website on screen so first you want to search up toby.space like this and then you should get this so then for masks you want to go to bird right here and the mask that you should be using for this tutorial is all the way down on the last row this one right here so then you want to copy up until 01 at the end here you copy control C or copy like that and you go on open IV you want to click search up here you want to enter it and then it's gonna say this right so then you click search MP underscore F underscore free mode okay whatever you know you press this then you want to just wait till it's loaded and you want to try to look for a folder that's just mp underscore f underscore free mode underscore zero one nothing after it it just has to say that and it also you see where it says items it has to have a thousand six hundred twenty six items so i'll be scrolling down till i find it so let's see it must have a thousand six hundred twenty six items or else it's not the right folder just wait till it's done loading okay so just keep scrolling okay you could also find this one that could work too you could but we're not gonna go with this one for the tutorial. We're gonna find the original one, so it'll be way easier for you guys. Because the other one, it's not the right folder. It'll give you other masks, but you could find the 1626 one from there. Okay, so right now I can't find it for some reason, but for right now, I'm just going to show you guys. You could go from this way too, by just double clicking on that. And then you're going to see it says 1,486 items. You want to make sure you click on this one where it says 1,626 or else it will not work. So double click on this. You want to minimize.
minimize this and you want to find where it says bird underscore zero zero four underscore u dot ydd so look just to make sure you open this you're gonna find this mask this is the one we're looking for so you drag this into your folder that you made on your desktop then you want to scroll down just keep scrolling till you find hold on right here bird underscore diff underscore zero zero four underscore a and the rest you must pick a so this you'll be it will be this right so you drag this onto the folder too and you want to go to your mods folder so you made this you want to open this folder and you want to drag these two into open iv once you've done that, you want to open the this one, the one that says YTD at the end. And it's going to bring you this, so then you click export selected. And you want to put it where your mask folder is. You want to put it into the mask folder. And then you want to switch this to PNG image, or else it won't work. So once you do that, you click save. You save here. Then now you open your mask folder and you should be, you should have a PNG thing right here. So then you drag this into here and you could close this. Now you'll have these three. So now you want to open Photoshop. Okay, so just wait for Photoshop to open. Alright, so once this opens up, you want to click File, Open, and then uh, you want to go to your mask folder, and you want to find the PNG right here, right? So then you double click it, and then this should pop up. So what you want to do now is you want to add a new layer. Well, that's okay. So now basically what you're done is getting it onto Photoshop. But now is where you create the mask. So, for example, if you want the color white all over it, or like you want a white mask, you would put this white up here in the top right corner, and then you press right here. But you have to make sure that you put it on a new layer. So once you do that, now is the first part. That's where you change the color of your mask. So then to find how it would look like, you click File, Export, Quick Export as PNG. And then it's gonna pop up with this. You click save. As I say, do you want to replace it? You click yes. All right. So then you go back on OpenIV. Then where it says bird diff underscore, well the last one, right? You cl double click on it. You click replace. Double click on your PNG. Make sure you're on the mask folder and then PNG. And then it's gonna be this white picture, right? Because we're making my, this mask white. So then after, to see what it looks like, you have to double click on this YDD one. So now, as you see, it's a, just a plain white mask. So then next, I'll explain how you could put designs on it, for example. So let's say I wanted to get, um, hmm, let's just say a scratch mark. So like scratch PNG, you have to make sure it's a PNG. So let's just say this one right here. You save image as, make sure it's a PNG or else it won't work. So I'm gonna drag it on my other monitor and then you wanna make sure you drag it on this layer. And it's gonna create a new layer here. Now, you're not gonna want what's around it in the picture. Like as you see, there's all of these, it's like a PNG, correct? Like it's transparent. So then you want to find the tool, um, Hold on right here the fourth tool it's gonna be looking like this you right click it and you click magic wand tool so then you press on the PNG make sure you're on this layer of the PNG you press on it and then you're gonna try to click delete but it won't work because you say this so then you right click your layer rasterize layer now press delete on your keyboard so then now it's gonna be like this. So you click deselect, you right click and you click deselect. So now we have our scratch mark. But then you may ask, how would I know where to put it? Because you see white around, so you don't know where it is on the mask. So you 
press on this little eye here that will cover the layer now you have this so now you would okay so right here you press see it won't let you like make it smaller or whatever sorry about this you just click ctrl z if you screw up like that and then so what you want to do is you want to press on the scratch mark here and you click show transform controls so then now you could make it smaller bigger whatever and now you could see where you want to put it on the mask so example let's say i want it over here so now is where i put it on the mask now you do not want to export it yet to see what it will look like you want to click the eye again on this layer so now the mask will be white or else it's going to look like this the mask so then that then you go back you do export quick export as png yes then you go back on open iv i don't know why it closed so i have to reopen it just give me a minute i can reopen it okay if it closes by any chance make sure you click edit mode again and then now you just do the same thing ytd replace and you put this sorry if i'm going a bit too fast you click save go back on the ydd now there now you see my scratch mark is on the mask so now that's how you add a design onto it so that's pretty much it for it and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions don't mind to dm me on discord i'll leave my discord in the description or comment on this video if you need help with something and i'll help you with it, whatever it is all right